Hi everyone, Mr. Peabody here, and uh, I'm going to talk about <laughs> Charlie's Angels. Um, we all knew it was going to be a woke fest, um, but you never knew exactly how much. Uh, this is a uh, full, full throttle woke fest. Um, some of it's more subtle than other things. Uh, the beginning is very, very in your face. But there's little things put through the movie and you think, oh, you got to be kidding me. Um, there's little comments put in here and there. There's what people actually do for a living and, uh, and it goes on and on and on. As far as a little action movie, it's not, it's not too bad. It's okay. Um, um. Christian Stewart's very in your face, um, but th that's the character, so that's fine. Um, the other girls, one you've got the the bumbling girl. She bumbles away through the movie, and she's you know, a little bit of comedic relief sort of thing. Whereas actually, in actual fact, she's the, the smartest person in the whole movie. Um, but uh, it, it takes you on a few twists and turns, so I don't want to really spoil anything for you. Uh, I will tell you the worst cringe moment of the whole movie. It was in. It was in, It's within the like the first. Sorry about the noise. Within the first five minutes, right? Um, and you, so you've you've got um, they're playing off Patrick Stewart as being the original Bosley. All right. And and they're having like a party for them. So they they go through and they show pictures of the younger Bosley. And this is the worst bit. They use they use Photoshop, and they do it really badly. It's really badly done, but they use Photoshop to turn all of your previous Bosleys into Patrick Stewart, right? So right right from the from the TV series all the way through your movies, <laughs> it's all Patrick Stewart, and it's just. It's just incredible. You, you you sit there and your eyes are trying to work out what you're supposed to be looking at. And and but if if you've seen that if you've seen that the TV series and if you've seen the other movies, uh, you're sitting there going, what have they done? Um, another thing is um, they go to this um, they go to like a safe house thing in in Berlin, okay, and. And they they go into the closet, right? And they they're showing you costumes that the girls can wear and things like that. Well, uh, it's like unless they've got the same costumes in every single house, why are all the costumes <laughs> from the from the other movies in this one house? Con considering that they've got many safe houses throughout the throughout the world, but uh, all the costumes that you've seen in in the other movies are all in this one house, and it's in Berlin. So uh, don't don't ask me how that works. Um, as I said, there's huge huge twists as you go through. They they actually twist. They sort of twist it one way, then twist it back the other way, and then at the, the end, uh, it's almost a make, an, a, enough to make you throw up. Um, as far as the original TV series goes, or even the the other movies that they did. Um, yeah, well, basically, as as you know, what they do with everything else, you can throw all of that out the window, all right? Because uh, you know, they, uh, I don't want to go into it any further. Not that you're going to go out and watch the movie anyway. Um, as I said, if you if you've got a couple of hours to kill it, it's not it's not a bad watch, but it's 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 very very cringe worthy all the way through. Um, so that, that's that's all I've got to say about that, um, and yeah, it's it's girl power all the way, which I don't have a problem with, but it's in your face. It's like um, man bad, girls good, man bad, girls good, and it's in your face right through the whole thing. And the only other problem I had with it, which I mean, it shouldn't really be a problem for me, but they've got um, they got 
a guy, I can't remember his name in the movie, I think it's John or something like that, but uh, whatever his name was, he was called Ozzy something, right, uh, through the whole movie, and yes, he had an Aussie accent. Uh, the problem I had was, I mean, it shouldn't really be a problem, because you know, there's a lot of different races here and everything like that, but he was called Ozzy John or whatever it was, and he was Chinese. It's like Chinese have taken over Australia completely. <laughs> so I mean, like, I, I had a little bit of an issue with that. Um, it was like, uh, you know, because he wasn't. It was no crocodile Dundee, um, but, um, uh, but yeah, I just because I, I recognised his accent straight away before I even saw him, um, and uh, I thought, okay, this is different. But, but through the throughout the movies, his character's name was Aussie something. Um, and uh, yeah, so if they, if they think that's a typical Aussie, think again. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, like, dislike, I don't care. It's like, uh, just give me some feedback. And hey, <laughs> at least I washed it. <laughs> I did the hard deed. Anyway, take care. See you later.